Hello guys, in this video, let's create a simple material like leaves or confetti. Now we can see in the level that this material is used to make the effect of leaves falling. This navel used the emitter is provided by the engine, so we can just add it to our Niagara system. It's very easy and convenient. Okay, now let's make this material together. First, we select blend mode to mask. And also we use to side it. Here, shading model, we keep it default because we want this material can receive the light in the level. Okay, and then let's add a sphere mask. Input A, we need a text chord. And B is a center, so we set it to 0.5. And radius is also 0.5. Hardness, we set it to 10. Okay, let's shape mask. Now let's add a texture. Here we use a noise texture. This texture provided by the engine. If we don't find it in the list, we can check this content. Make sure we show the engine content. Okay, here we also use a text card to control the textures. UV tiling, we can set it to 0 0.3. Yeah, make it look soft. And then we need to power the texture. The exponent, we set it to 0 0.5 as default. Multiply by the shape mask. Now we get a shape like a confetti. We can control the confetti size by the exponent. Smaller value, larger size. Of course, larger value, smaller size. We can also control the size by a parameter. Here, opacity mask clip value. If the pixel value is less than 0 0.3, it will be clipped. So we can set this parameter to 0 0.1. Yeah, we can see the config is bigger in size. Now let's add a particle color. Multiply by the noise texture. That's base color. Also, we can add an emissive color. This value should be smaller. So multiply by 0 0.1. Oh yes, here we use three channels RGB. And we also need a dynamic parameter. Let's make our control the material in Niagara system. Prime 1 is textures of site. Rename it to random and add it to text chord. Okay. Now we can preview it. If we change the default value, we can see the confetti's shape is also changed. Prime 2 is power. This parameter controls the confetti size. Okay, that's our material. Now let's save the material and create a Niagara system. We just select engine provide blowing particles. Yeah, we can see this emitter simulate a flying leaves. Let's see it in the level. It looks nice, but we can change one thing to make the particles fall on the floor. In collision, we can modify radius scale to 1. 
Now we can see the particle on the floor. And then let's use our raw material in Sprite Rendered. Okay, we can see a warning that because our material's blend mode is masked. This mode uses depth buffer that conflict with collision type. So we can fix this issue by changing collision type to distance field. Okay. Now let's add a dynamic material parameters in particle spawn. The random textures of site we can set it to 0 to 1 and the power is 0 0.5 to 1. Okay, we get many different size and shape particles. Now let's add a color to these particles. Yeah, this color looks like a leaf. Okay, it looks great, but we still need to change the shape. Generally speaking, if we want this particle looks like a leaf, the shape mask should be elliptical. But now it looks like a circle. So we can scale sphere masks away. Let's add a material function. Scale away by center. By default, the UA is 1 and 1. So we can set it to 0 0.5 and 1. Now it looks like an elliptical. OK, we can also use dynamic parameter to control the UVs. Prime 3 and prime 4 is U and V. And here we set U and V is also random range 0 0.5 to 1. Now let's see the effect in the level. Yeah, it's really great. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.